Shalom people of God, this is your brother Travis and welcome to our next video. In this video we're going to talk about the Kundalini um, manifestation in the church and we're going to see the comparison with what's going on in the church and what goes on into the occult because these things are not of God. Now when I was a young, from a, from a very young child I used to always see certain things happen in the church and it always have some I also have some questions about them why people behave this way but I was uh, but I was taught that these things are something that's off God and I should not really question God but as I grow old I start to realize that these things are not really off God that these things are actually of the devil of Satan himself these things are the serpent spirit the Kundalini spirit so let's get into this video right here right now so fear use for this video as well Now look at these people laughing uncontrollable, uncontrollable laughter. Now the Bible says that the fruit of the spirit is is is, is self-control. So if you have no control, is that really of the spirit? It's something that we need to really take into consideration. If we're in the spirit, or if we, as Jamaicans will always say, catch the spirit, but yet what? out of control is that really of the spirit of god so these people are laughing uncontrollably how is this edifying anyone now we all know also that the fruit of the spirit is also joy so we should have this joy but this uncontrollableness about about it is questionable but we're gonna as, as we watch forward we're gonna see this is what's going on in the church and we're gonna see what's going on also in the occult and see if there's any real difference. <laughs> and and before I even go any further, this reminds me of when I used to smoke weed. I remember once smoking weed and that's the same way I I I behave. And I know for sure that the weed does not give any Holy Spirit. <laughs> I know for sure. And I can remember one time I smoked weed and it's the same way I be. I laugh uncontrollably. Let's get it. So now this is the accord. Marilah kita selalu tertawa untuk diri, untuk orang lain, tertawa untuk keluarga, masyarakat, dunia, dan negara. Makanya apapun yang kita cari di dunia ini Kita menjadi orang pintar Menjadi orang kaya Ujung-ujungnya adalah kebahagiaan So, what is the difference now my people? So this is showing us the occult and what's going on in the church. Where is the difference? Where is the difference? You know, as Christians, we are commanded to actually be, actually be set apart. And when you can see no difference between the world or Satan and the quote-unquote kingdom of God, then that there's something wrong. There's definitely something wrong. Uh, uh, uh. 
drunkenness. So this is what they call in church um, slain in the spirit and I wonder are you you actually actually been slain but not by the spirit of God and slain actually mean when somebody slain you it's like they're destroying you so it's crazy let's look in the account now This was the same thing I was showing you guys yesterday. I want this one going shh, and then everybody fall on drop. Big sign of up, 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 in the spirit, people. And people, isn't this what's going on in the churches now? Not all, but in many of these churches. Men swinging them out after you and you're falling. Men, men, men behaving like avatars. These so-called pastors behaving like avatars. And then, you know, they just make this move off you from, from, from a distance. And you start behaving like, like something really hit you. Isn't the same thing? Isn't this the same thing that's going on in many of these churches? With many of these magician prophets, many of these false prophets, this is the same thing that's going on. There's no difference than, than, than what's going on in the occult and in the world. <clears throat> no wonder. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14 No wonder, for even Satan disguised himself as an angel of light. Not everyone who say that they are of God, that they are of the light that come from God, is of God, people. Ephesians 5 verse 11 says, Take no part in the unfruitful workers of darkness, darkness, but rather expose them. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm following the words of our Lord that says, Expose them. We're exposing this darkness. Do not believe this kundalini thing that's going on in the churches. Do not believe that you, when you be out of order, out of control, falling, skipping, dropping, 
spinning around is not the spirit of God. The spirit of God is self-control. According to even a scripture, I believe in Ephesians, as well, it talks about the spirit of God is, is also, the fruit of the spirit is also righteousness. It will never make you act out of the way or unrighteously. So do not be fooled. Do not be fooled. Let me also give you some more things of what happened when uh, uh, more signs of the Kundalini spirit. So one is a strong feeling of euphoria, which we saw, which we saw, um, the men was doing their quote unquote holy laughter. That's one sign of the Kundalini spirit. A great feeling of euphoria. You start laughing uncontrollably. The next one is falling, shaking, and jerking. And uh, also, many people will bark like a dog, meow like a cat, or honk like a, um, a be like a pig. That's not of God, people. When you see these things happening in church, just know that this is not of God. Don't let them tell you that it's the Holy Spirit that caused them to meow and bark. Nothing like that. Um, a next sign of the of the Kundalini spirit is that people can actually become psychics because there's a spirit behind them. And they can get quote unquote prophetic visions, but it's not from God. It's not from God. So not everybody who can see in your business or say something about you that's true and say that they hear from a spirit means it's come from the spirit of God. So we have to be really careful out here. Um, repeating mantras. Whenever you see somebody repeating mantras, let me tell you, are mere strings of words. That's not of God. God don't have you chanting. God will never have you chanting and repeating mantras. That's a high sign of, of even witchcraft as well. The next one is the loss of consciousness. God will never cause, the Spirit of God will never cause to lose your mind, lose your consciousness. You know, the Bible even says that we're not made with a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Not an unsound mind. Alright? The next sign is also a trance-like state. You go off in a trance. Not of God. Um, drunkenness. You know, like you are, like you're, you're, like you're drunk. And let me tell you. This is a tricky this is a tricky one as well because usually this one is a tricky one is because in the book of Acts So I was saying in the book of Acts chapter two verse fifteen to about seventeen it says These people are not drunk as you suppose. It is only nine in the morning. No, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. And in the last days God said I will pour my spirit on all people. Uh, your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. So the reason I say this is a tricky part is that when the spirit is up on you, you, based on what I read here, is that you might have a behavior as if there's a drunkenness upon you. But you will never be out of control. You will never be out of control. All right, the next sign also is when somebody is locked in one position. A next sign of the Kundalini spirit we're talking about here is that they are locked in a certain position. Sometimes the Kundalini spirit can have you locked, bend backwards or bend forwards, just, but they have you locked in one position. That's not the spirit of God. Remember, you have control when you have the spirit of God. Not, un not be in no control at all. So when you see somebody locked in one spirit, locked in, a locked in one position, that's not of God. Um, the last one that I have here is that if you feel this intense heat or this so-called electricity going to your body, careful of that. And I see many not really many. I saw this video of this man saying that he's baptizing people and then the electricity of God will run through them. Wow, that's scary. That is very, very scary. So people, be very careful of this Kundalini spirit, this counterfeit, counterfeit 
Holy Spirit that's in the many, many of these churches. When you see any of these signs, pay very, very, very careful attention and don't stay amongst where people are entertaining demons. You don't want to party, partake in that. So this video was edifying. Ensure to share these people. Ensure to really share these videos out. For you for those who are new here, ensure that you subscribe and um, stay tuned to this channel as I do my best to teach the word of God and also to expose the unfruitful workers of darkness. And until the next video, shalom, peace, grace, and mercy from God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yahushua Amashiach, Yahweh Shai. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. What if I name it choose to call the Messiah? Our great high priest in the order of Melchizedek and our soon coming king.